Hello, listeners. This is Danny here, welcoming you back to another bootleg broadcast live from an undisclosed location somewhere in the Americas. I'm afraid this broadcast is going to be a bit of a departure from the ordinary, and it may very well be my last. I always said that someday they would catch up to me, and I think someday might be today. I don't have a guest with me in the studio, nor will I be playing any music for you all. Instead, listeners, I'm going to tell you a story, the truth of how this all started. I think they might already be outside the studio, listeners, so I don't have much time. I wasn't always a pirate radio show host, of course. The Danny of yesteryear was young and naive, blind to the truth of the world. I already held a hint of the pessimism you've all heard of this past year of broadcasts, but I was far happier then. But then I met Gray, and it all changed. Gray opened my eyes to the world as it really was, gritty and dark. Gray validated my pessimism, but brought along something else, an idea that even in the senseless and meaningless world we lived in, that I could really do something for the battered soul of humanity. It was Gray that gave me the kernel of the idea for these bootleg broadcasts that you have all grown to love so much. I still remember the first thing Gray said to me. He walked up, took one look at me, and said, You look like you stink, but you don't. And I don't know why that stuck with me. I, I guess it was just a uncharacteristic thing to say outside, you know, a normal greeting. But uh, meeting Gray changed everything. And I had learned the truth, and I couldn't go back. For the first time in my life, I knew the truth, and I wanted to share it. I knew how much they controlled us, knew how little the general population was allowed to see about the world, knew how little it all mattered. But I wanted to try. So I built something wonderful, this pirate broadcast that you're all listening to now. I compiled information, gathered equipment, and got my show on the air. I brought something to the table that no most had never had access to before. Uncensored reality. Music, news, and philosophy free from their control. But as the messages started coming in, messages from you, my listeners, telling me how much bootleg broadcast had changed things for you, they started to catch on. They didn't like what I was doing. Of course they didn't. They stood against everything that the broadcast meant. It was and had always been their job to maintain the illusion. Fortunately, Gray had helped me cover my tracks. It took them a long time to even start to catch up to me. But I'd known they would find me eventually. And now, they have. I think they've just used gas grenades, listeners. I have less time than I thought. I'll try to say this in as few words as possible so that I can bring you the whole truth one last time. More and more of you were inspired, becoming informants, gathering more and more information to be broadcast. You sent me your stories, your songs, your truths. It seemed like it would never end. You began to call me prophet and oracle, turned me into a figure of almost mythical proportions. But throughout it all, somewhere in the back of my mind lurked a thought that no matter what I did, no matter how hard I fought, none of it would ever matter. They would always win, eventually. There were moments when I doubted myself, moments when I almost shut it all down for good. But what was the use? If they would just win, why bring people the truth if people were happier not knowing the bleakness of it all? But I couldn't stop. I was in too deep, my listeners. And you had come to rely on my broadcasts. So I kept at it, knowing that it was ultimately fruitless. Plus... It's not like I had anything else. They were on to me at that point, and it was only a matter of time. So I resolved to keep bringing you these broadcasts until the very last. But now, facing down the end, perhaps I was wrong. 
listeners. Perhaps there is value in all this struggle. We are all here, all alive, feeling and experiencing, and we deserve the truth for the short while for which we exist. Perhaps that has value all by itself. The road ends for me, my friends, but it does not have to end for you. One final time, this is Danny with Bootleg Broadcasts, signing off.